The trans and non-binary models walk for Prada for the first time during Milan Fashion Week. Prada has been including more and more trans and non-binary individuals um, in their shows. And so to have that much more visibility for trans and non-binary people, especially in the fashion industry, um, that's a nice step for us. It gives it gives trans and non-binary individuals a, you know, a little bit of visibility at some levels of society that would be very hard to gain entrance to because it's a hard industry to gain entrance to in the first place. The problem being that many of those individuals who are in this industry are typical societal beauty standard examples, which mm. means that they are rail thin, they are not typical bodies, they don't have any extra stuffing in places. Uh, and so while it's great to see more trans people, in fact, a friend of mine from the community here um, was recently at Fashion Week in New York and, and did walk with some designers. But just to see, um, you know, inclusion is going to be a better world for us. Yeah, and you bring a uh, you bring up a very good point. There's that distinction between representation and bringing into our community those ridiculous ideals of this is what you're supposed to look like. This is what you should look like to be a good or successful trans person. Right. Which is something I, our community really struggles with. It is. I mean, I I just wrote about that over the weekend on Facebook. You know, that lately I've been struggling with, since my transition began, I've never really felt the need to pass mm -hmm. for other people. And lately, that's impacted me. And lately, I've suffered a lot because of it. And it's a struggle right now, and I'm trying to work through it and get to the, get to the place of being comfortable again with my look for me and fuck everybody else's ideas. You know, this is me. This is who I am. My name is Genevieve Bergman, and I am a transgender woman, and this is what I look like. Your standards of beauty, the culture standards of feminine, the idea of womanhood, that all of that should not be my concern. What should be my concern is that I love myself for me. Mm 